Welcome everyone to another edition of my podcast. This time I'm going to discuss the 2013 NBA Finals between the defending NBA champions versus the San Antonio Spurs. Now before I'll go more deep on this NBA Finals matchup, I'll tell you how these two teams got to the NBA Finals. So here goes. I'm going to kick it off with the Easter Conference playoffs matchups. Okay, in the first round, the Mom Heat swept the Bucks in four. They rest up and face the winner of the Brooklyn, the Bulls series. Of course, the Bulls won in seven. That's an awesome series. So is the Bulls versus the Heat in round two. Yes, two. Of course, this past season, the Bulls snapped the Mama Heat 20 game winning streak. And that was a freaking awesome game. It felt like a playoff game. So they met in this playoffs. You know, I think they met before in the playoffs. I'm not really too sure. So in the first game, in the second round, Bulls had stunned the Mama Heat. And I was very, very shocked. I thought. The Miami Heat was swept the Bulls right out of the playoffs, and the Miami Heat will go into the Easter Commons um, finals just like a, like a snap, but it never happened. But the Heat won the five. The Bulls were all banged up anyway, no rolls, and all great jazz. So, Bulls had a decent season. At least they got out of the first round, like, not like last season. So, the Miami Heat go to Easter Conference uh, Finals to face the Pacers. Now the Pacers are number th- third seed. Now that was an awesome series. Um, of course, the Miami Heat are number one seed. Last year, these two teams met. I think they met in the second round. Yes, yeah, second round. The Heat won that series. Uh, Pacers were up two one, I think. And after that, it was all downhill for the Pacers. And this was a better series than last year. It took it all the way to Game 7. I know the NBA loved that kind of shit. Because the the Western Conference is all said and done. I'll discuss about the Western Conference in a few minutes. Um, This whole matchup between the Pacers and um, Heat was awesome. Some of the games were blowouts. Some of them was close. And I cannot wait for next season. When these two teams meet again in the in the season and hopefully in the playoffs, if the Pacers stay healthy, same thing for the the Heat. If they could stay healthy, that's the key word in sports: stay healthy. So I was very very disappointed that um the Pacers did not win the series because I'm from Indiana and um if the, my Bulls can't get to the um, finals. I root for um. In this ter- predicament, I'm going to Pacers, but it never happened. But overall, good series. Uh, Pacers are a very, very young squad. I think they're the youngest team in NBA history. I mean NBA overall. I'm not really too sure. Let me know. So um, Miami Heat are going back to the finals for the third year in a row. They didn't win three titles in a row. They only won one. The first time they went to the finals, they lost to Dallas. And then the second year they went to the finals, they beat Oklahoma. This year, we don't know yet. I know they're going to face the Spurs. Okay, now the West comments how the Spurs got to the finals. First matchup was the Lakers, Spurs. Spurs are number second seed. Lakers were number seven seed. And Spurs swept the Lakers, Lakers had a lot of issues this season. You know, the White Howard, Kobe, was out for the season, so it went all downhill. Plus, they went with two coaches. They fired two. Co- they fired one coach and they kept the other one. They they don't know what the hell they doing. Why in the hell do you want to fire a coach so early in the season? Dumb, whatever, bad decisions, but whatever. At least they make the playoffs, but. That's another podcast, maybe. I don't know if I want to discuss that. Okay, Spurs 
move on to the second round and face Golden State. Golden State are a very, very young team. They're number six uh, seed. And that was a very awesome series. I really enjoyed that up and down team. And I really thought the Spurs would get knocked out. But no, Spurs won six. So they move on to the Western Conference Finals against Memphis Grizzlies. Memphis Grizzlies had never ever got this far in this playoffs before. Never. I think last year they um, won the first round or second round. I'm not really too sure. But Memphis Grizzlies are number fifth seed. That was a, be a huge upset. Never happened. Spurs swept the Memphis Grizzlies right at the playoffs. So here's the um, 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 here is the NBA Finals matchup, what I said earlier, Spurs are number 2nd seed, the Miami Heat are number 1 seed. Okay, now I'm going to discuss about last night NBA um, Game 7 between the Heat and the Pacers. Um, the Heat won 99, the 76, there was not no contest at all. Very, very boring game if you're a Pacers fan or a NBA fan overall. But if you're a Heat fan, you're very happy that the, the Heat just freaking dominate. This game dominate. Okay, top performance. I'm going to make this short and sweet. Roy Hilbert was 7, 11, 18 points, 8 um, rebounds, and 1 assist. He didn't really do that much. Not this time. But LeBron James, King James. 8 out of 17 from the field, 32 points, 8 rebounds, 4 assists. So that's awesome for, the, for him. So I know he's very happy. It was a very frustrating series for, for him. And I know um, Paul Pacers. What am I going to say? Oh, yeah, Pacers say, shit, we should win this series. But it slipped away. But maybe they will make some wheeling dealing. And all uh, good stuff in this off season. I think free agency kicks off sometime in July. After the fourth, I'm not really too sure. Uh, what else I want to say? Okay, LeBron James. What I said, he's the one who really stepped it up. Dwayne Wade actually stepped it at 21 points. Um, Bosh nine points. He didn't do jack shit. Uh, but nine, sorry, eight rebounds. So. From my point of view, I don't think Chris Bosch is should be the third guy. It should just be two guys, but I don't know. I know he's a great rebounder, and they said if, if the Heat lost yesterday, then probably they would break up the team, but, you know, the reporters like to start shit, so I don't know if they're going to win this year. We'll find out when the uh, NBA Finals kicks off. Now, back to the NBA Finals. Now, I don't know if you like this NBA format. The first two games will be in Miami. The first game will be this Thursday night on ABC. And then game 3, 4, and 5 will be in San Antonio. But 6 and 7 will be in Miami. I guess they want to do that because traveling-wise, I, I guess NBA does that. I think that's the only um, p professional sport does that. Hockey does not do that. Uh, baseball does not do that, and other ones I can't think of off my top of my head. I like the old format better. I forgot how it used to be, but that's all I'm going to say. Now, who I think who's going to win the NBA uh, championship? Oh, shit. This is going to be a very difficult series. I just hopefully no sweep because I know the NBA commissioner, David Stern, the want to see no sweep. He wants to maybe like six games or seven. That's how I'm picking. I'm picking um, six Spurs. I know you guys think I'm cool could do so. What? Team Murray, you going with the Spurs? I know the Spurs have not been to the NBA Finals since 07. But this is going to be a good series. If the Spurs can stay healthy, same thing for the Heat. They must stay healthy in this whole series. But if one guy gets injured like Tim Duncan or Parker or LeBron James, they're done. They're done. You know, anyone could get hurt. I know this is not football or hockey or or baseball, but 
guys get get hurt, you know. Guys can get really hurt, you know. But I don't understand, you know. But that's all I'm gonna say about that. But um, who's gonna watch this NBA Finals matchup between the Miami Heat and the Spurs? And I think in the regular season, the Miami Heat beat the Spurs twice this season. I'm not really sure. I think they did because I watched ESPN last night. Um, it's gonna be a good matchup. I don't know who the um, experts said. Let's see here. I don't know if they had the um, their um, who are they going for? Probably it's kind of early because I know it's only Tuesday. Um, let's see here. It don't matter because you know how the reporters and people say who's gonna win the NBA Finals. It don't matter, but I'm going with my gut. Spurs in six, or it might go seven. You know, it might go the the distance. So that's all I'm gonna say. Ah, uh, I'm drinking Dr. Pepper. You guys can see it, but I only hear it. Ah. Now, I used to watch the NBA Finals back in the day, back in the 90s, when they actually had some good NBA teams like, oh, shit. Of course, the Bulls, the Detroit Pistons, you know, all four, you know, Houston, 94, uh, 95, um... Spurs back in the early 2000s, Lakers, they had some awesome teams back in the day, you know. This is before uh, my heat was good, you know. But, you know, I just lost my um, thing to watch the NBA, NBA playoffs, NBA finals, but I don't know. The game has changed over the years, definitely has changed, you know. I grew up in an era in the 80s, in the 90s with Jordan, um, Shaq, uh, um, Kim Olajuwon, you know, all them players, you know, Dominic Wilkins back in the 80s, I know I was, you know, all that good stuff, but thank God for YouTube, I could watch some old clips, um, uh, what else, um, Dan Marley, oh, that was great shit back then, you know, Phoenix Suns had some great shooters, um, Carl Malone, John Stockton, Jeff Harnsack, you know, great players, Ewing, guys who never won a championship and never will because Bulls beat them and, you know, it just makes me mad. But can you guys imagine Pacers versus the Spurs matchup? Do you think anyone will ma watch that matchup? I mean, I would, but I don't think the NBA wants to see that because it's not a good matchup. Now, this matchup will be good. Tom, Tim Duncan versus LeBron James. You know, I don't know if they want to do it like that or is it going to be like the Spurs versus the Heat series. I know back in the day it was um, Jordan Bulls versus Carmelo in Utah. You know, but they always like to um, make a big buzz. Who's going to win the series? And I know tomorrow or next day, leading up to Thursday, all the media is going to discuss this. Who's going to win this and and all good stuff. But it's going to be a good series. Um, I'm not gonna, I might um, make a podcast in each game. Like game 1, game 2, game 3, game 4, game 5, game 6, or game 7. It all depends how many games they go. The distance. But if that doesn't happen, I might just do it when the finals are all said and done. So if I'm not... Um, if, for example, on Thursday night, I might do it on Friday, but bear with me, you know. Because I have a weird work schedule plus. I'm very tired when I get off work. I do other stuff around the house, so that's about it. We'll see if I feel like doing a podcast on each game. and Maybe maybe I might do it. We'll see if I'm in the mood. Um, that's about it, really. I got nothing else to say. Enjoy the NBA Finals. Um, NBA will be over after the finals, and then I might maybe in July do like a um or before that discuss the um, 
the 2013 NBA free agencies who will go where I th maybe I don't know maybe I'll discuss that solo because I don't think anybody want to discuss that with me um, that's about it so sign off from the host Team Rai Rai thank you for listening for this special podcast about the the NBA Finals kicked off this Thursday night in Miami. So Miami Heat don't have to do any traveling from Game 7. Because it was in Miami. Is that weird? So I'm not too sure if I mentioned it in this podcast. But my uncle was doing the, um, the season plus the playoffs for the, the Pacers. You know, doing a pyro before the games actually kicks off. So that's awesome. I went to one game with my dad and his friends this past March against the Bulls. Of course, the Pacers beat the Bulls, but it was a great experience. Backstage uh, was on the NBA court for the first time ever before the game actually kicked off. And the atmosphere was freaking awesome. So if you want to check out the video footage, it's exclusive on my YouTube channel. I think it's called um, Journey to Annapolis. I think so. I'm not too sure what I call it. So check it out. I um, think that's about it. Now I am signing off. Thanks for watching or listening. I'm out here and the champ is now out here. Sign off. Have a good one everyone. Goodbye.